Hey guys, Seton HVAC here. So in this video, I'm going to go over with you um, how to simplify your uh, low voltage wiring on residential HVAC systems. And what I normally use on all my jobs, no matter what type of job I'm doing, is 1810 wire. Now what that means is it's, it's 18 gauge wire. Each of these wires is 18 gauge and there's 10 of them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eighteen gauge slash ten wires. So let's go over to our diagrams here. Let's start with the gas furnace. So let's say you're doing a simple single stage gas furnace. You're going to have an R, a C, a W, and a G. Sorry guys, I put G at the end because I almost forgot it. So it's, it's there. So R, C, W, G. Now how would you wire that up? So it would be the same way between the gas furnace and the thermostat. So you take your 10 wire here and you would do green, red, white, and blue, okay? That's all you would have are those four wires, okay? So where do they go, okay? It's pretty self-explanatory. So red sorry guys i'm trying to do this without my chest mount on and i should have that on let's uh let's finish this up with that on hold on a second all right guys real life stuff here i tried to wing it it didn't work so let me show you so on your basic gas furnace you're gonna have r is going to be your red wire common is going to be your blue wire w is going to be your white and then all the way down here, sorry, they're supposed to be together, is your green wire to G. That will do your basic single stage gas furnace, okay? Now, let's say we're doing a furnace with AC. So you're gonna have those same four wires, red to R, blue to C, white to W, and G, green to G, and that is your fan, okay? Now let me tell you what all these mean too. So you have, 24 volts, 24, 24 volts common, that completes your 24 volt circuit. Uh, w is heat, yellow, or white, sorry, Y is gonna be your yellow wire, that's cooling. Y2 would be if you had a second uh, stage of cooling on a two stage air conditioner. W2 would be if you had a second um, stage of heat on your gas furnace, that would be uh, uh, I'll tell you what wire we'll use for that. And then G is your green is your fan. So what, here's the colors I like to use. If we have a second stage of, um, a second stage of, uh, of, uh, gas furnace. Sorry, sorry about the stammer. I'm trying to, I, I kind of messed my diagram up, but so what I like to use for my sec second stage heat normally is gray. And I'll tell you why in a second. And I'll, you, I mean, and the color doesn't really matter, but, you know, pick a color and stick with it and do it on all your jobs. There's, there's I know there's guys say there's ind industry standards, but there really isn't. Okay. So W2 for gray. And then if you have a second stage of cooling, well, let's do first stage. So first stage is always going to be yellow. Okay. Always yellow. Every time. Do not ever change. So what I like to use for my second stage on cooling with my 10 wire is pink. Okay. So we have our 24 volts, hot is red, C is our 20, 24 volts common, blue, W is white, and that's our first stage heat, Yet Y is yellow, that's our first stage cooling, Y2, I like to use pink, that's our second stage cooling, W2, that's gray, that's our second stage heat, and G is fan, that's always green, okay? So let's go over to if you had a heat pump that you were going to wire. So these ones are all going to be the same except for a couple different things, okay? So you're going to have, you know, your green for your fan, G. Your 24, 24 volts hot, red. Your 24 volts common, blue. Now this is where it's different. So this is, um, in a heat pump, you have what's called backup heat strips. So on some heat pump thermostats, this will be W, or it'll also be... 
auxiliary, okay? So that's a, still going to be white, but that's your that's your backup heat, and that's also your tempering heat for when the system goes into defrost. Still a white wire, but it's nice to know what that actually does. Y in a heat pump is yellow still, but we call that first stage compressor because all that's doing is energizing your outdoor unit, okay? Just like in an air conditioner, but it also produces heat. Y2, second stage compressor, second stage condensing unit. Um, W2, if you had two stages of strip heat and you wanted to stage them, um, that's what that would be for. Now, O, that's different. So that's going to be your orange wire here, okay? Always use orange. That's for your reversing valve or what some people call a switchover valve. That's what switches your heat pump between heating and cooling. And then lastly, you have um, usually a, a couple of S terminals on your thermostat for a heat pump if you have a, a heat pump that does it. Now, some of the Wi-Fi ones don't because they do it via the Internet. This is for an outdoor sensor, okay? Call it an ODS. So you'll have a two-wire sensor that will go outside, and it will wire directly. Now, that's why I leave the black and the brown left. It's the only thing that's not being used here, okay? I like to use those two every time, then I don't screw it up. So, let's in summary, let's go let's go over here. So G green and I didn't write my reversing valve in here. Let's just put it right there. It's going to be orange. And let's just put RV there. And then we can also put um this can be auxiliary for your heat pump. So you have G is always going to be green for your fan. R is always going to be red. 24 volts. C is always going to be blue, 24 volts common. Then we got your white there, auxiliary, uh, W. Y is yellow. That's always going to be first stage. I want it right there. I don't have room. First stage uh, condenser. Y2, pink. Second stage condenser. W2, I use gray. And that's always going to be your second stage heat. And then you have O is going to be orange for your reversing valve and a heat pump. And then uh, your two um, outdoor sensor terminals, S's, S terminals usually on heat pump thermostats. I like to use black and brown. Now this is just for 10 wire. Sometimes guys will pull different. I do the same thing every time and it keeps everything uniform. So uh, if you do it this way, you'll be in good shape and you won't mess anything up. If you want me to get into um, different systems and how you wire the air handling units um, and then show you how to wire the outdoors, I might just take you to my Bosch system and go over that one day. But this is a good um, breakdown of how you wire these up and how I use my 1810 wire, okay? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh.